Uh, well, for me personally, uh, it would have to be being nominated uh, for Junior World Player of the Year. I was um, very stoked and uh, yeah, very uh, very grateful for, for receiving the nomination. So um, that would have to be the most memorable memorable for me. Uh, no, I definitely didn't see it coming. I was actually warming up for for a game uh, when it was announced, and uh, yeah, I was a bit bit surprised and and thought, geez, I better not play bad this game now. <laughs> bit of pressure. Uh, I think they do. They're they're a very uh, very passionate team. Uh, they're a bit like the uh, the Spanish soccer. They're they're diving and and they're they're scratching and they're biting and and um, yeah they're, they're very hard and and uh, in the way that they go about their hockey and they make it difficult for for teams to play against them. Yeah, definitely. I, I still look up, look up to a lot of the other guys. Uh, uh, there's there's a number of of champions in, in the Kookaburras team uh, who have been there for a while now, like the likes of Jamie Dwyer, uh, Mark Knowles, Rob Hammond, Liam DeYoung. I, I know I've just named most of the uh, the Queensland players, but yeah, they, they're a bunch of champions, and and I still take a lot a lot from those guys in their work ethic, in in how they go about hockey, and also their um, their mental strength in and. Uh, and also ask them a lot of questions and how I can improve and, and what I can take from them to, to better myself and um, also to better the team. Uh, well, he, he generally says that uh, the Olympic year is, is one of the toughest years for, for any sports person. Uh, it's everybody's tightening up their groups and, and everybody's uh, uh, looking for the ultimate goal, which is the Olympic gold. So uh, teams are going to to be tougher. Uh, they're going to be fitter. They're going to run faster. Uh, that's that's just what the Olympic year is about. So being a favourite is obvious. Obviously, uh, going to put pressure on on the Kookaburras as a team, and and he's trying to to go away from that and uh, and just make sure that we're doing the right things uh, for ourselves and, and for the team, and making sure that we're we're personally ready for for the Olympics. Uh, and, and making sure that we keep an eye on on our op opponents during the year and, yeah, and and continue going forward. Well, there there'll be a number of threats at the Olympics. Obviously, the, uh, the top four teams, uh, or well, top six teams in the world that that we could see as threats. They, they could be Spain, Holland, Germany, uh, Korea, New Zealand are, are coming along nicely. Uh, there's also Great Britain, uh, who will have the home advantage. So we can't really single a, a specific team out uh, as being a, a potential threat because every team can beat you on their day. That's what international hockey is uh, so hard. Well, I was talking to Matthew Wells this morning and I was expressing how I'd like to play HL. Uh, even though the Olympic year is going to be tough on, on the body, uh, I I still like playing for, for my home state and it's a personal highlight for me and and I think uh, I think yeah when you when you go play for your home state it's it's um, it's a real real rush and <laughs> yeah I think uh, I think it will be um, uh, a lot of the guys will probably give me a stick if I if I don't continue it so it's a, it's a bit of a lucky charm at the moment so I might have to keep it going. Uh, special mention to Luke Dorner for that one. <laughs>